looking for positivity or looking for encouragement encouragement to me a prince and aims to educate you to give you the push to believe to have the mindset yeah. for success mindset for We have a fabulous show tonight. Our guest is Dr. Judy Mandrell. She is the CEO of Dream Builders Greatness Center. She also has the Real Talk with Judy radio show, the Leadership Academy, and the Sister Girls Network. Stay as you can. As you can, mm -hmm. stay. Now, Camille get into all the stock and all of that. You know, she know all of the, all I mean, of those ins and outs. We have an investment out. plan for an uh, uh, option and investment plan for the employees and maybe, you know, someone that you know who you can um, be in business with or partnership with. You know, maybe you have a family with Edward Jones or whatever. And then you know, when you come and talk to the and set up a they can set up their own 401k or you can find it. So, I mean, that's easy. If you're a business, you don't have to. A lot of people think it's expensive because they think they're going to pay for it. No, you just have to provide the option and just get their head into the employee's head into the game. Well, like, okay, I need to retire. Right. Well, you know, it's not easy. 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 Well, you know, just provide them with the option, um, business owners, as well as yourself, <laughs> to, yeah. to start a, a brokerage account with, um, you know, like I said, Edward Jones or Charles Schwab or whoever, and, or even your bank. They have brokers with two Americans, Bank of America. And um, so you own 401k, you own retirement plan, and just take it from there. Sometimes it, you don't have to reach the 401. You can just put back from every... Like on a regular job, put back $25 or paycheck or $20 a check. Like on a regular job, they automatically take it out and put it in the 401k. You can do the same thing, same thing too in a small business, working for a small business owner, um, and take out your own money or have a plan where they give the funds out once you get paid. So, so that's, that's good talk right there. So that's something that uh, she can help all of us with. So that way, because you know that's another thing with a small business, like what I have when we started, but there is no 401k. Um, um, so even the things that she just said now, to prepare our, our um, team members, our, our staff, that one day you're going to retire. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to need to have something. Uh, it, will be a, it will be good for you to have something to fall back on right. or to keep this income coming. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, that's good. So that's a, that's a good plan for business on. I just took that in myself because um, we, we want to make sure that the staff, our team, is not just working for now. When it's time for retirement, they don't have anything. Mm -hmm. So that's a good um, um, suggestion for us to look in. You know, so, yeah. See, I come on to learn too. I, I come on I to, mean, yeah, to give and to learn. Yeah. Think that they have to, um, how they can compete with the big businesses and they think that they have to provide the same service. And um, you don't have to because you're a small business. And especially if you're a part time, they don't receive benefits anyway. Mm -hmm. But you can come in, you can invite someone to come in and sell their service and the employee set up a retirement plan on their own mm -hmm. with that um, agent. 
and they can do as little or as much as they want. But um, I think small businesses, you know, think right away that they can't do it because big businesses offer it and they match. Right. You don't have to match. You just provide the, the option to the the employees, like you know, just marry them together. <laughs> the agent and the employee, and the employees can decide themselves if they want to. That sounds good. We're going to have to get you back to come talk to him. <laughs> bring you back and uh, up to the Tallahassee and let, let yeah. you come talk to him because we want we, we, we do want our staff to be successful in every area, even after they retire. Mm -hmm. You know, even even after they start working, uh, to me that's a, that's a good uh, succession plan mm -hmm. to have something you can fall back on right. after you finish. Been giving all of your time working and working and working. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back right after this break. With the U.S. Small Business Administration, we make small business our business by being an ally, an advocate, a mentor, a coach, an educator, a friend. So businesses across the nation can confidently start, grow, expand, and recover. SBA, empowering small businesses, empowering the American dream. And now, let's continue with our discussion. And before you start, just count out the calls. Right, right. Where, where, we, where you would like to be in three months of this job, in six months, in a year, two years, three years five years, okay, and just, just write it and then look at it, and really look at, are you really ready to give of yourself to start a business, are you really ready to make the investment, talk with people, talk, do not be afraid to talk, and you know, ask questions, ask questions, you don't have to act like you know it all, just ask questions, you know, and, and ask Ask real question. What what does the taxes look? What this? How do you feel when things don't go your way in the business? When because I tell you there there was moments when we got started too that we thought wow this is and it didn't mm -hmm. and there there comes some low low moments in running a business. There comes some low moments. Uh, finances done look good and you're gonna have to be willing to make sacrifices in your life as a business owner. There will be places you can't go, things that you can't buy personally because you're having to spend your money. Okay? And if you have a spouse, if you're married, make sure that spouse is in agreement and let them know, we're gonna have some low moments. Everything's not gonna be here all the time. And just be willing to stick to it, okay? Just stick to it. When you're having those moments, call somebody. Ask for help. Ask for a, a picker up. Mm -hmm. You know, just say, I need to, I just need to vent. And do not vent. If you have a staff, do not vent to your staff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do not vent to your staff. I've seen people go off on their staff. Yeah. You ain't doing this. Do not, do not do that. If they're not doing it right, take them in the office, outside of everybody else, and talk to them. Okay, and you can set up plans because you got to remember you have the vision, and you got to get people to buy in to what you're doing. And I, this is another thing I tell you: you do it right, and you have those low moments. They'll give you money too. Mm -hmm. You will. Mm -hmm. They will give you money to invest in the business yeah. that yeah. they're doing, yeah. and as they're working for you. So you have to get the people that's working with you to buy into it. Thank you, Dr. Judy. I'm so glad I took up this offer to come in and interview you because you educated me <laughs> and the audience on really how to have a successful business, how to do startups and to grow and go through the tough times and to plan to succeed. So you're so wealth of knowledge and I thank you for coming on. Um, as far as your business is here and the services that you offer, how can people um, reach out to you? You can call me uh, 
212-822-8805. That is my personal cell. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I, I'll have people to call me, and then if you need to set up an appointment, I have my personal assistant, then you go through that. But I like to talk to people. So, or you can email me at www.evangjudy, scratch that one, www.dreambuildersgreatnesscenter, the number one, at gmail.com. That's dreambuildersgreatnesscenter, the number one, at gmail.com. I'm going to tell you why I give that one. That's for the, um, the child development. Nope, that's for, that's for everything oh, because okay. all of my assistants can get into that one. And especially my sister, she's good to say, you have a meeting here, you have this. If you look at this email, this email, someone is asking you. And that way I stay on it because, because of so much that I do. I, and they're busy as well, mm -hmm. but they help me to stay on task. Because one of the things that I, I do not like to do is to make people feel like they're not important. Right. Okay. That's why I don't like to be late, <laughs> even though I am most of the time. <laughs> I don't like to because it, it, it says to others, you don't value me mm -hmm. or my time. Mm -hmm. And I was told that by a member one time, and I thought that was good. I was late to a meeting. I worked in Quincy, which is about 35 miles from Tallahassee, and we had, I think, our appointment was at 6. I got that 6.45. We didn't have cell phones and stuff back then. Mm -hmm. And um, before we started the meeting, she said, I just need to let you know that I'm really upset that you're late because you did not value my time. And I told her what happened. She said, I understand, but this and it, made, it made me think mm -hmm. to value people and that I'm not the only one important. We'll be right back, right after this break. Right now, the COVID-19 vaccines are available to millions of Americans, and soon they will be available to everyone. This vaccine means hope. It will protect you and those you love from this dangerous and deadly disease. I want to go back to work and I want to be able to move around. To visit with Michelle's mom, to hug her and see her on her birthday. You know what I'm really looking forward to is going to opening day in Texas Rangers Stadium with a full stadium. We've lost enough people and we've suffered enough damage. In order to get rid of this pandemic, it's important for our fellow citizens to get vaccinated. I'm getting vaccinated because we want this pandemic to end as soon as possible. So we urge you to get vaccinated when it's available to you. So roll up your sleeve and do your part. This is our shot. Now it's up to you. And now, let's continue with our discussion. Okay, so now if, if, they, if you want to enroll um, in the development, child development center, you can email her there. Now for, um, she also, Dr. Julie also has a um, radio show. I know, now I follow her on Facebook Live. I'm not in Tallahassee, but anywhere in the world. She's on Facebook Live and she's been that Tuesday, that 11th Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a real talk with Judy Live radio show uh, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, 11.30 to 12.30 on Hallelujah 95.3 FM. And we are a stellar nominated station. I like to say that. And we're hoping to bring that, that, that award home on July 10th. Um, so, yeah, I have a Sister Girls Network. Um, Sister Girls. Yeah, I was about to ask you, who do you meet, guys? Um, how can they follow that? I know you have uh, a page. Yep, I have a, I have a page. So go on the Sister Girls page. That's on Facebook, and like it, and then you will get all of the information. Also, to YouTube and our Instagram, and uh, we, we're we're planning a big gala or gala, whatever one you want to say, uh, and you'll get more information about that. So we're hoping we're looking for oh God, so over 400, 600 women from everywhere. Wow. Okay, I'm going to give an invitation to that. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, we're going to give our invitation. We want 
So we're working on it. Um, there's some thoughts. I'm meeting with people to get ideas and things that uh, it's gonna be good. So it may have to be in next year. It may have to be 20, 2022. Um, but it's it's good. What is the sister girls at work? Glad you asked. It consists of women from every area of life, black, white, Asian, whatever, all different domination, everybody. Um, we have people from the homeless shelter all the way up to the mayor's wife, people from Scotland, New York, Tallahassee, Orlando, St. Petersburg, Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale. Um, all of those since the um, pandemic have gotten on because at first it was just Tallahassee. And I'm um, thinking about doing one everywhere. So um, is it basically um, uh, like a sisterhood, a sister network well, um, to encourage each other? Yeah, we, 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 we do nothing. I mean, we just come together. There is no president this or right. uh, Dr. Judy. I, I insist on them calling me Judy, right? Because I want us to feel like a sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want everybody to feel like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm important, I mean something to this group and everything. When the women from the homeless shelter came, they were dressed in their black as well. Okay. And I had somebody say, you got ladies from the homeless shelter, do you want to introduce them? No, I ain't introducing no one else. Mm -hmm. No, let them just mingle. Right. And they went back and they were saying, we went to a party with the commissioner. Uh, we had a represent people there from the, from the legislature and the mayor's wife. There were police officers in there. They had everybody in there. And, and, but it made them feel good. It gives you hope. Right. They just come together and, and enjoy one another. And then get to know each other. Mm -hmm. Get to know each other. Yeah. And get some good friendship made out of that. And that's what it's about. That's, that's, I think everything I do, God just has to know what it means to you. Uh, it's, it's a gift from God, I promise you. Uh, in and of myself, I couldn't do this. But the way God does it, um, He just brings us together. He 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 has given me the gift to um, to bring people together. It's, mm -hmm. And and I tell everybody, it is not me. It is the God in me. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like they say, you're so cocky. No, I'm confident in the God in me. I really am. Mm -hmm. And that's what He does to me. He He attracts people to Him. Mm -hmm. He attracts exactly. people to him, <laughs> and it's, it's him, and so my job is to bring people together mm -hmm. and help us help one another, right? Exactly. Marrying people together, bringing people um, to connect with one another, having a network place, you know, without, I mean, you can't, I mean, you can pray all day, but if you just stay in the house, the food is, you know, the what you have what God has for you is out beyond your four walls. So you have to reach out, you have to network because you never know who God will send your path. And you never know who you will be. And you might marry one of your friends with another one, um, not literally marry, but I mean connect them yeah. to where they do phenomenal business together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you, you know, with a vehicle to help that come about. And you never know you never what know. deal will come across your way. You never know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Like this show right here tonight. You just never know what you haven't gotten out of this that's going to take that, you know, I, I believe that an answer for you have come out of this. Okay? And you're going to see yourself, you just take some of this stuff, you see yourself doing better than you have been. Than, 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 than you have been. And I... And I'm sure that we all can say that we have gotten something out of this show tonight. Yes, yes. Uh, all of us. Yeah. Well, Dr. Judah, I thank you for coming on again. <laughs> and I'm, again, I'm so glad that you just shared this wealth of knowledge for um, to help us. I believe that a lot of people are doing help for this. So thank you. Thank you for asking me. You know, I consider it an honor, and I felt like, oh, I'm going on to me a show. I really did. I was excited, and, and my husband, they all can tell you, I was, I've been here waiting for an hour, like, yes, yes, you know, because I'm very excited and honored that you saw enough in me 
to bring me onto your show to talk to your audience. I want to say thank you so very much. I consider it a privilege to be here with you tonight. I am Dr. Judy Mandrell, the Executive Director of Dream Business Family Affairs Program. The program was established a year ago, and it was established for the purpose of strengthening the family, bringing out the better uh, of the family, bringing out greater. You, you remember when family sat around the table, eating and laughing and telling jokes and telling stories. Mama was in the kitchen cooking or, cooking, or daddy was in the kitchen cooking. We were having fun. The motto is making home sweet home again. Family is the strongest unit in our world. Strong families uh, promote strong communities, strong churches, strong schools. You want to see our children built up? Build up the families, mamas and daddies, encouraging the sons and the daughters, making them happy, making them know that they can uh, do anything. That's what happened to us, right? And so what we have here, this video is to show you the power, the joy, the excitement of the Family Affairs Program. Behind me, I have Danette McBride, Carolyn Waddell, two of our team members who serve with me in the capacity of bringing this forth. And then I also have the administrative assistant, Serena George and her daughter, Catrice, who are also parents who have gone through this program. Parent, a parent who is making it happen. Man, she is excited and because of her, we are now in Governor's Charters Academy. That's right, and you're gonna hear from each one because the Dream Builders Family Affairs Program is worth having. We believe in family. We know family work. And families, I'm telling you, it's the fabric of our community, of our school, of our state. I am Judy Mandrell, the Executive Director of Dream Builders Family Affairs Program. Hi, my name is Carolyn Waddell and I am one of the parent trainers and a team member of Dream Builders Family Affairs. It is an awesome program, a great mentorship program where we mentor parents and children to be better people in our community, in our churches, in our homes, in our businesses. Join the Family Affairs. I guarantee you, you will be blessed. I have watched these parents come together to love, support, and care for their children. We've seen them build better relationships. Communication has gotten better. So the Family Affair is a part of our community where we're building stronger families. We're building stronger homes and stronger mentorships where the parent and the children come together as a family and build a greater bond. Thank you for joining Dream Builders Family Affairs and we hope to see each and every one of you at Governor's Charter. Thank you. Hi, my name is Serena George. I am part of the Dream Builders team. I am so excited about this program. I'm so excited that I introduced it to my school and now we're coming to the Governor's Charter. Now you can be part of the J Squad at GCA. There you will learn to grow as a parent, as a person, and as a leader. I've seen my daughter grow in her study habits and in other areas. So I believe in this program. So if you want to see growth in yourself and in your children, please join us every Thursday, second and third Thursday of the month at GCA. Patrice, what do you have to say? In uh, the classes, I not only learned to better communicate, but I've learned to not always jump to anger and ways to cope with it. As a single parent, what more could you ask? Please join us at GCA so you can grow to be the leader of tomorrow. Hi, my name is Danette McBride, and I am one of the parent trainers of Dream Builders Family Affairs Program. This program is an amazing program designed to better the home. It is designed for parents that are single, two home, parent homes, blended families. This program teaches you practical tools to use to make your home exciting, to better communicate, to expand relationships between parents, siblings, um, to be able just to make the entire atmosphere of home a better place to be. We're excited about sharing this program with you. One of the things that we really hone on is the leader in you, developing the leader in the 
parent and the leader in the child. We're excited about seeing you on these Thursdays. We hope to see each of you there so that you will be able to grow, impact, and expand your life and your family. Remember, Dream Builders Family Affairs Program, we're here to help you better yourself, better your home and your community. It's gonna change your life. We'll see you Thursday. Wow, that was awesome. You've heard from two of our team members. You've heard from one of our parents and one of our children who have participated in the Dream Builders Family Affairs Program. This program is designed with every governor's child or parent in mind. We see you right now. We see the greatness. We believe that there's so much as parents and your children that you have to offer to each other. Your child has a voice. You have a voice. Sometimes there will be misunderstanding. The Family Affairs Program is here to bring all of that together, the child, the family. Okay, sit down, talk, laugh, have fun. And so we want to invite you, all of the governor's child of family, all of the governor's child, child of parents, single parents, fathers, fathers, you're also welcome. Uh, mothers, single parents, we want everyone to come and be a part of this governor's charter family affairs program, the J squad, the GCA J squad. And we're really gonna make it happen. I tell you, we're looking forward to it. So this Thursday, Thursday, February the 11th is the first introduction day. And then on March 6th, I think it is, we are having a dinner for those who have been rolled into this program. We are excited about it. We are excited. Every second and fourth Thursday at from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. right there in the GCA cafeteria. Uh, it's gonna be fun, I promise you. I, uh, one of the parents said this to us, and Serena, and though I'm sure y'all remember this, she said she wanted to slap her child, but she thought about the parent. She thought about the family affairs program. She thought about the family affairs program and what she had learned some new methods of dealing with this. But check this out. One of the sons told me he wanted to slap his mom. Okay, I say, son, I've been there. I wanted to slap mine too. And in my head, I did. So we teach children how to cope without coming out of their mouth. Honey, you can do some things in your head, but you better not come out to your parent. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what it's all about. We've had them go to school and they'll become better. And we want to invite you again to the Dream Builders. Family Affairs Program. That's the GCA J Squad. What y'all have to say? What y'all got to say about that? I'm excited. Yes. See you Thursday. Thursday. Oh, one more thing. I want to say thank you, Miss Reynolds. She's the principal. Thank you, Miss Reynolds. Thank you, Miss Anita. Miss Anita Davis. Thank you. Thank you, um, Miss Kate. Kate. No. Kate Jones of uh, the 21st Century, and to the dean. Miss Katina Smith. Miss Katina Smith. Listen, we're all here and we're excited. And guess what? I see you in the future. You're doing better than you ever done before. That's real talk. I'm Tamia Brinson from Mindset for Success. And thank you for watching the show. Be sure to tune in next Monday at 9 p.m. For success. If you're looking for positivity.